Hi, Dennis Bulldogs. It's Mrs. Johnson, your school counselor. We are going to continue to talk about anxiety and coping skills that you can use at home. So today we are going to talk about the 54321 grounding technique. This technique uses all of your senses, and you'll see me look off to the side a little bit today because I'm looking um, on a, off of a script, and this will be something that I will link in the information section so you can check that out if you are interested. Um, it takes some practice to get used to using this technique and remembering all of the things you need to do um, as you're going through the steps. So the first thing we're going to do is take a deep breath. So you'll take a deep breath before you do this when you're starting to feel anxious. And we practiced some deep breathing earlier this week with the 478 technique. So the first thing is we're going to use our sense of sight. So we are going to look for five things around us that we can see. So you're going to also say them out loud or if you're in a public place, you can say them in your head. Or you could write them down as well. So for example, I see a door, a light, a plant, a calendar, and my phone. So you'll, everyone will have different things that they see, and so we're just confirming that we see these things. And then the next thing we're going to do is four things we can feel. So pay attention to your body and think of four things that you can feel and say them out loud. So for example, you can say, I feel my feet are warm in my socks. I can feel the hair on the back of my neck. Or I can feel the pillow I'm sitting on. Or maybe if you're feeling anxious, you can feel your heart beating or your body temperature rising. The next one is three, our sense of hearing. So we're going to listen for three sounds. It could be the sounds of traffic outside if you live in town, the sound of typing, um, or the sound of maybe even your stomach growling if you're hungry. And so you can say these three things out loud. So that will be different for everyone as well. Just three things that you can hear. And then the next thing is your sense of smell. So you're going to say two things that you can smell. Um, you know, if you're at home, you might have to move to another spot. So the kitchen, obviously, there's lots of smells in there. And if you can't smell anything at the moment, or you can't, like, move to smell something different, then just name two of your favorite smells. So maybe it's warm chocolate chip cookies coming out of the oven, or you love the smell of a certain candle that is burning in your home. Another one is... The last one is taste. So we only need to name one thing that we can taste. And so it may be toothpaste from brushing your teeth in the morning. Mine currently would be the taste of coffee still in my mouth from drinking that. So there are lots of things that we may be able to taste. And once again, if you can't taste something, you're going to name one thing that's your favorite thing to taste. So maybe your favorite food or um, favorite flavor of gum. So there's lots of um, options there. So then to end it, you're going to take a deep breath once again. So <clears throat> just to review, you will start by taking a deep breath if you're feeling anxious or need to feel more grounded. And so you will start off by five things that you can see, four things that you can feel, three things that you can hear, two things that you can smell, and then one thing you can taste. And then you're going to take a deep breath. So I hope that you are able to try this technique. Like I said, I know it can be a little bit more complicated than some of the other things we've talked about. So I'll link this information below in the information box. Um, I'm sending you all my love and I miss you and I can't wait to see you guys again. And I hope everyone has a great day and I'll see you later.